Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to our redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build the Impossible Arrow minigame. Now, I'd like to put that impossible in quotes because you can eventually get it, but it takes a very long time. But anyway, the aim of this game is to shoot an arrow so it lands on this wooden pressure plate in this hole here. Now, it is quite difficult to actually get an arrow because, as you might know, the bow mechanics, um, you can easily hold the bow too much, too long and it will just overshot the whole entire machine here. So you've got to be very accurate um, with your power and also the angle that you're looking at. So even if we looked up about 45 here and we did a little bit, wow, we got that first shot. Holy, that was, that was, that was luck guys, that was luck. I don't want to make it seem like this game is easy because it is not. We'll give that another go right now. All right, let's give that another shot, and I'll just show you that it that it is difficult. That that was just that was just pure luck right there. All right, all right, okay. Too much, too done. Uh, too much of an angle. Oh, whoa! Oh, I thought that was on. It's actually on the glass. All right. Oh nope. All right, maybe up a little bit more. Nope. 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 Not enough power. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I was getting really frustrated when I was actually testing this out because it took me ages to get in, but I eventually did. But as you can see, at the start there, I did get that in like first shot and it is possible to get it in. Now one thing I forgot to mention just then, once you do actually land an arrow on the pressure plate, a block will extend and this will retract once the arrow despawns. Now why this does this real quickly is because if you were to shoot another arrow on that pressure plate, it won't trigger your prize. I will show you guys how to build this now. So what you are going to need is 10 redstone dust, 2 redstone torches, 1 wooden pressure plate, now it has to be a wooden one, a stone one will not work, 1 sticky piston, 2 redstone lamps, 2 droppers, 8 slabs of your choice, now I've just gotten some stone ones but you can get whatever you like, 1 glass block, three fences of your choice, and last but not least, 64 blocks of your choice. Now the first thing that we are going to do is place down our pressure plate, and this is where the arrow is going to fall on, so we're going to place that down. Then behind it, we're going to dig out one block, place a piece of redstone dust in that, we're going to skip one block, then dig out another block again, and then we're going to place a block on, uh, not a block, a redstone torch on this back side of the block, so whenever we step on that, that redstone torch will turn off. On top of that redstone torch, what we need to do is place a block of our choice. So just place one of these on top, and then on top of that block, place your last redstone torch like so. We're gonna get our sticky piston, and what you wanna do is we wanna place it um, in front of this redstone torch, and it should extend and come towards us like that. Now on top of this redstone in the hole, we're simply going to place our redstone lamp, one of our blocks of choice, and then another redstone lamp, and then behind the redstone lamp, we're going to place two blocks of our choice and then two redstone on top of them. Now you want to come down the bottom here and what we want to do is in front of this pressure plate here, we want to dig six blocks going in that direction. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to dig that down one more layer. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we want to dig out the block under the block the pressure plate is on. So dig out this block under it, and then we'll place our seven remaining redstone on the bottom here. Now we can come back up to the top now, and we can actually cover this up, so you don't need to um, see that at all. So just cover that back up. Now one block after the trench here, so this is where our trench ended at the front here. We're gonna leave a gap and then dig down two blocks here. And then we're gonna place a dropper facing upwards and then hop up the top here and you wanna place it on this front side of this block here so the um, dispenser, or not the dispenser, the dropper doesn't face upwards and it basically just acts as a little chest for us. Now come back over here and what we need to do now is we're gonna place a block either side of the pressure plate, one in front of them, then we're gonna place our glass block, block in front of the pressure plate and five of our slabs on top of those blocks. 
We're going to build three high pillars on each side of the redstone lamps here. And then our remaining three slabs will go on the top like that. Now the last step is our fences and this simply just goes in front of our dropper here just so we have um, a bit of a difficulty here. We don't want people walking up to the front there and shooting the arrow in. Now believe it or not we've actually finished the building of the mini game. All we've got to do now is configure the prize that the player wins when they hit the pressure plate and this can be simply done by putting items into the bottom dropper here. So we place two droppers like that. You want to put your items into the bottom one there and we're simply going to put 64 diamonds into there. And there we go, the machine is ready to be played. Now I'm not going to test it out again because you saw at the start that it took me a while to get it in and that is the whole challenge of this game. It is quite hard um, to get the arrow onto the pressure plate. But what I'm going to do now is simply just do a little bit of decoration. Maybe you want to do this to yours. Um, but I'm going to try and keep the theme that I've been doing throughout all my redstone tutorials here. I've been using a lot of oak and oak planks. So I've just replaced those corner ones with the logs and then these three high pillars here with the logs there as well. And then also below the glass here I'm just going to put a, a log like that and already it is just looking a lot better. Now we're at that point in the tutorial where I'm going to teach you guys how this works. So it is a very simple mechanic. So let's start here with the shooter. So the shooter shoots the arrow and the arrow falls into the hole here and hits this pressure plate. Now this pressure plate here powers this redstone here which then powers this block and turns that redstone torch off turning or allowing this redstone to torch to turn on and this redstone torch powers this piston and also this redstone at the top here and then that turns on that um, redstone lamp and then this piston will extend to stop any arrows to come into it because as mentioned at the start of this video if I was to um, shoot a second arrow in here this, that second arrow would not um, trigger any prize so there's no point in trying to get your arrow in there if you're not going to get a prize at all. Now the other redstone that we see down bottom here this will get powered and this will simply power this bottom dropper at the bottom here um, and put the prize into the top dropper. So that basically wraps up this tutorial today but before I end off I know this tutorial today was a little short and that's why I'm actually going to be doing a little extra video for you guys. Now basically this extra video is going to go over some redstone add-ons for this mini game because while I was building it I had a ton of ideas but they would have had to all be in separate contraptions and separate tutorials. So make sure you check out in a couple of days when that video is posted. Now if it's already been a couple of days I would have put the link in the description of this video so if you're trying to find this add-on video make sure you check the description and click on that. But anyway that's going to end off. Let me know what you thought about this. Is it a cool little mini game? If you have any ideas for redstone tutorials as well let me know in the comment comment section as always. Now I'm not going to tell you guys to like and subscribe in this video. I want to see if you guys genuinely do like this tutorial and do want to see more of them in the future so make up your mind if you want to do that. But anyway I will see you guys later. Bye bye.